The Commission, Uncle Paulie, P. Diddy, Cesar Leo, De Janeiro, Charlie Baltimore, <laughs> Iceberg Slim, Ooh, The Most right. Shady, Frankie Baby. We Yo, Jules. What up? Are we recording? Do you know yep. Me? Can you let Stiz know that we're ready to rock? <laughs> hey, Stiz. We're recording. Hey, Jules, can you let Snuck know? And we're back. Oh, God, and we're back, Snuck. Shit's you weird. good? Are we going to be good? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not done. Oh. You gonna at least I look- thought you would die with me. You are going to at least look at me and shit? <laughs> <laughs> What's good, C? <laughs> What's Suck good? on stuff, and we are back. Episode 83. After a couple weeks, uh, What's beef? What's beef? A couple, a couple What's week beef? hiatus. What's beef? SOS beef? SOS beef. It has officially happened. We had a rough patch with some episodes. We had, uh, Jesus Christ, we had a fucking month, bro. How did it start off? The fucking, the episode with the audio. Two episodes ago, the audio was an issue. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, made, yep. we made light of that on the left Engineer episode. Jules hit, uh, hit stop recording uh, by accident halfway yeah, through that was the 20 Sandy minutes Wexler into the episode. <laughs> and then the very next episode, six minutes into the episode, the camera just stops. Now, no one touched it. It stays in the same place. No one touched it, went by it, but for whatever reason, it just stopped. And it just seemed like technical difficulties were just mm-hmm. fucking becoming the norm for stuck on stuff. And that becomes the, like, it's the, frustrating. The basis of where the first, very first SOS co host on co host beef stems from is, is, is those eps turning out like that. And it got to the point where we got our very first. Fuck you, I'm quitting. <laughs> I may have, I don't know, may or may not. two and a half years in? Three, yeah, whatever, two and a half about. Two and a half yeah, years yeah. in, I, I, I did my first I, I'll quit threat. I felt SOS. you, though. I felt you. I felt you. Listen, we all put, I, need, I know for y'all that rock with us, like, we appreciate every single one of y'all that rock with us. And I have to say, lately I've been getting a lot of people hitting me up showing love. That like legit count on our episodes. I feel like, like yo, we were like, getting the most love uh, lately on shit in a time where like we were straight up beefing behind the scenes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and people the, were like, yeah, we love stuck on stuff. Yo, real <laughs> shit. Me and Stiz got into it. I'll just let you, you know, we don't give you guys everything, but I'll let you know me and Stiz for real got into it on the text. And um, to the point where I forgot Jules was in the text. <laughs> and the, all, all of a sudden, and then Jules interjects, he like, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, whatever he said, it was yeah. mad, like, uplifting and positive. He's like, yeah, we're doing yeah, great yeah. right we're now, just- this and that. And I, was like, <laughs> I forgot he was even in that motherfucker. Like, good, yeah, thing, I didn't say, good thing I wasn't like, and then there's Jules. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, I didn't even think that would have been fucking oh, hilarious. Been yeah, yeah. But yo, on the real, we all put a lot of time. You drive over an hour to get here. Jules yeah. drives over an hour to get here. A lot goes into this. We, thing you just know, we, we rearrange the Bat Cave to do this. We fucking spend time to edit the episode, to, to edit the video, to edit the clips. And it's yeah. just, you know, to get the docs ready yeah, every yeah. week. What are we going to talk about? A lot goes into yeah. it. We Schedule. definitely... Yeah, scheduling. Yeah. People have lives, and families, was, jobs, and corona. I was, I was tight because no IG clips because it was the the show before had we had no a, video. We had a good um argument over um some some police issue, whatever it was, and we had a we oh, had a good yeah, back yeah, and forth. That's right. We won't and the Trevor sides, Noah and I Trevor was gonna Noah rock that. Thing. And then and then on the last episode, it was a Trevor Noah um conversation we had that we were both on opposite sides. I thought we got good feedback on, yeah. and I just ended up not making clips because the visuals yeah. was gone or the audio was gone. We yeah. just had a rough couple of apps dude and people yeah. was rocking with him which was the weird part but me and Stiz hated each other behind the scenes yeah definitely <laughs> all, all for the past couple of weeks we were like man we quit man fuck this Stiz was like, Yo, you take your BMA tonight. and fucking shove it up your ass <laughs> we don't need that shit but we bike uh, stuck on stuff in the building Stiz Grimy Superstar Snuck and Engineer Jules back. and we're back and we're recording so let's go where would let's you like rock. to start off Snuck I seen something on the dock about you, um, because you know we got to go back a, a little while here. A couple weeks. So apparently, Stiz got so twisted at Thanksgiving. I'm uh, a, or, or leading the up night to Thanksgiving. Before. I'm gonna let you tell it. When we, I just don't rough. know why in the dock everything I say because of snuck, like because snuck well, because made you're me a drink. Bad the one influence. Night. So just then what? In that general. shit like trickled all the way to Thanksgiving.
Thanksgiving. So yes. when exactly did you start drinking? When you showed up to my house with a fucking dirty <laughs> rack of beer. That's when I started <laughs> right. drinking. All right, and then so what? So you never stopped until Thanksgiving? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was the night before Thanksgiving. You okay. kicked it that night for a little extra. That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's right. So we so All right. so you know, Snuck shows back up. Back when he was the, on good terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way back then. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Snuck shows up with like a fucking his normal dirty rack to do the apps and fucking we start drinking <laughs> through the episode. <laughs> And then at the end of the episode, we're chilling. And yeah. then you left, and then Jules stayed for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Him and I kept drinking. How long did this asshole linger? Uh, a couple a hours. Lingerer. I know he's a linger. Yeah, he's a couple hours. I will give him credit, though. He did help us uh, edit the uh, Nems video. Shout out our guy Nems, who yeah. uh, which gave right. us a shout out. Which came we out NNY. super fire, by the way. Yeah, it did. That, did a good that, job. that Nems video was all Stiz and, and, uh, and apparently Jules. And... Um, hmm. But, but yeah, so that we was did that. So you and then, that shit. And then Shorty came over, and then we kept drinking. Bro, I got so drunk the night before Thanksgiving. I wake up uh, on Thanksgiving, and I went up to my boy's house in New Hampshire to have dinner with oh, his that's family. Right. Yeah, Low yeah. key shit. Yeah. Um, you told and me bro, like I could just you know like just super hungover. I knew I was I was like fuck. I'm so hurting. is it with your man and his family? Are we talking yeah, just immediate family? I mean, yeah, immediate. Not okay. like a huge gathering. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yo, I and and yo, I tried the hair of the dog. I try, I've never done that. I tried to do it. It's actually science. Yeah, but it didn't really work for me. Would you do beers? No, I did. Vo- I did a mixed drink, a Tito's and soda. I think in general, I think it's with anything. But mm. I, you know, I find if you have a few beers, you after, yeah. after three or four beers, you start leveling Maybe out. Maybe that's what it was because I only had one, and it was like hard to get the alcohol down because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so sick. It's science. Yeah, no. It's, it's I think, it, it, I think it, if it, I had caught a buzz, I would have felt better. Yeah, but I couldn't allow. I couldn't like bring myself to catch the buzz. It hits like this this part in your brain or some shit that like. Uh, that that you feel the hangover and mm-hmm, or whatever mm-hmm. it does something with that part of it. Yeah, no, I definitely. I, I read that. the science part of it. One oh, day. I believe you read that science. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe you. I'll try, up I'll be on trying that. to justify everything. <laughs> I read every little thing. Like, see, <laughs> um, science. Science. But yeah, so we sit down uh, for this nice Thanksgiving meal. My man fucking chefed up a, a Gordon Ramsay turkey and like fucking dude, it was he it did was, it. Or yeah, the wife? he did it. No, nah, he don't, well, don't. yeah, they they kind of share, but I think he did the turkey. Dude, it looks so good. We all sit down to eat. I take one bite, and my stomach is just like, <laughs> and I literally almost there's puked kids too, all right? over. There's, there's the, oh yeah, there. there's kids. Like, What's wrong with Uncle Steve? Oh my god, bro! I had to, I had to get up and go lay down on the fucking immediately, it, immediately, one bro. Bite. I said, "Excuse me, I can't, I can't do this." And I, and I went to the uh, <laughs> I went to his wife's room. looking at him like, "Yo, why did you invite this yeah, fucking asshole?" Like, what to an my house. embarrassment! <laughs> and I had to go lay down, bro. What'd you do? Nap it out? I tried to nap it out. Yeah, but even that didn't quite. work. Work. It was you, like I needed a full sleep. Yeah. I wasn't good till the next day when I woke For up. For real. Yeah, so dude, did you try eating hurting. a couple hours later? I couldn't do it. I For couldn't real? eat till the next day. Whoa. Shout out my shout out my people though. They sent me home with like Stiz massive mad. fucking Stiz leftovers. Got mad Tupperwares right now. Oh, mad Tupperwares. Yeah. yeah, I still got like some pie in there and in, in the thing. Um, Next day, uh, Thanksgiving for breakfast, basically. Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Which I think sometimes Ain't can no, be the best Thanksgiving. Yeah, like sometimes shit. I like that better than the actual meal. Like the cold Man. leftovers when you throw it all together in a fucking sandwich. I wouldn't or say like, cold, but... And I don't do that weird sandwich shit, like Thanksgiving sub and all that oh, weird nah? shit. Oh, no? Nah, nah. Ooh, that's good. A but yo, the, and cranberry I sauce. Dog, I ate Thanksgiving for at least two days straight, maybe mm. even three. A little uh, fucking... The the casserole, the green bean casserole, two or three days straight. Ooh. See you next year. What you know was what up saying? with uh, how was your Thanksgiving? Still, I don't care. You're not my friend. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Word> up. <laughs> no, for real. What'd you do? Uh, Did you take the COVID shit seriously? Because I think I remember you said you were kind of gonna like it wasn't gonna be nah, a huge just thing. My side of family kind of things got disrupted with COVID shit. Yeah. Uh, wifey side, I went to her side, and it was just it was love, same immediate, as you. It was just yeah, immediate. Yeah, yeah. It was just us. Uh, yeah. Engineer Ate Jules? good, drank good, all, all that shit. What'd you do? We stayed at home, had some turkey. Yeah, said it. First, uh, first Thanksgiving in the in the new house. Yeah, you man, proud was, homeowner. Yeah, it was great. Awesome, clap, slow clap for this guy. Oh yeah, that's great. Speaking um, of that, you got your um, you still got your drops and all that shit. Yes, I do. That's actually I what forget. I was literally just pulling I up because I was gonna yeah. give a uh, slow clap for the for the. I fucking, know if you deleted. <laughs> Uh, once I quit the show, get just rid of everything. everything. I was like, anything stuck on stuff related, <laughs> I want it out. All oh, Snuck's on the phone? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, yo, I want to get into what I think. Now, we've been off for a couple a couple weeks, uh, pretty yeah. much since Thanksgiving. But I want to I want to start, Snuck, with what I think 
uh, is like the biggest fucking story I think that's happened. Well, sir. The other day, uh, I think it was probably about five days ago now, five, six days ago, a press release comes out from Warner Brothers. Okay. And Warner Brothers basically says... So you really you didn't want to segue into the COVID thing and the Baker thing? You just wanted to go... Oh, yeah, I know. Go completely <laughs> no, side no, no. right. I know, no, it's right? all good. It's yeah. all good. Uh, yeah, I, I, we, should, we should get into the Baker thing after because it is getting it is getting kind of crazy. I think we're about to go back into lockdown. But you, You're the one that schools me on that, so that's why I just yeah, thought that was the yeah. transition from Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know. It would have made sense, me, but so yeah, you know, you know fucking me. Uh, my brain is scattered. But no, seriously, though, because I really think this was bigger than that, bro. I really do. Warner Brothers. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to release. I'm just going to read some of this, okay? Uh, today, Warner Brothers Pictures Group announces that it, it has committed to releasing its 2021 film slate via a unique consumer focused distribution model in which Warner Brothers will continue to exhibit the films theatrically worldwide while adding an exclusive one month access period on the HBO Max streaming platform in the US concurrent with the film's domestic oh, release. Oh, it is HBO Max. I didn't know yes. it was cuz I did hear about this. Yes. I, I didn't know um at the time that it had a specific HBO streaming Max. service, yeah. yeah. So, basically Warner Brothers has come out and has said uh all of our 2021 movies, the same day they come out on theaters, mm -hmm. they will be available on HBO Max. For a month. They're also assuming that theaters are going to be open in 2021. Exactly. is like a few weeks away, too. Now, here's kind of what I want to ask you about. I feel like we've been heading this way for a little bit yeah, now. We've, we've before already, COVID. Yeah, we've been over Before that, yeah. COVID, right? Like, I think this was just going to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think COVID just kind of kicked it into fucking high gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, you know. Now, listen to some of these movies. Warner Brothers uh, expected 2021 releases currently includes... Uh, let's see, The Little Things, Judas and the Black Messiah, Tom and Jerry, Godzilla vs. Kong, Mortal Kombat, mm. The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, which looks crazy, the new Conjuring movie, Space, the new Space Jam movie, mm. A New Legacy, the new Suicide Squad movie, uh, Dune, King Richard, Cry Macho, Matrix 4. So there's so, some big ones in there, but they yeah. don't have like the big, um, they don't do like the Marvel shit. Marvels, yeah, yeah, nah, I don't think so. I don't think there's so. There's still some big ones in there. Yeah, there's still well, some big ones. Well, I didn't know they were, they were doing a Tom and Jerry movie. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That shit is a cartoon or real people or something. I'm not sure. I have no idea yet. All films will be available in 4K Ultra HD on HBO Max. Did they tell you how much to watch it at home? They didn't say how much. Yeah. I'm guessing $20. I think that's what, what people guess? want it to be. I think they're going to get hip, and I think it's going to be higher. Mm. I they, don't know. They know there's four or five of us at the crib watching. How much are you going to pay? What's a I'll movie that... I'll pay 20. That, all right, I'll pay 20. I don't know if I'm For a movie I want to see and don't yeah, have to yeah, leave yeah, my that's fucking what I'm saying. crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the beer is cheap What's in my the fridge. Tops? Fuck out of here. How much would you... Like, wh like wh at what point were you like, nah, I can't justify that? I, I don't pay, know if I, I could pay, go over 25. I'd pay 30, 40 for some shit I want to see. Yeah, as long as I wasn't that's alone. That's a lot. Think about you and one other person. So that's, you, that's so the you, right there. So you and the girl is at the crystal. It's the 20, 15, 18, whatever yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's almost forty bucks right there. You got all your your food and your beers and shit already at you the crib. Pause it. Pause you that bitch fucking, and you know go drop a deuce and come back. You it's do the nothing. popcorn trick. Yeah. You know what I mean. Reach in, grab <laughs> some popcorn. I mean, for, psych. It's my dick. <laughs> I don't think thirty. I don't think thirty is that unreasonable, man. Yeah, now this yeah, shit is I'm not opposed to you touching my dick with your foot. Sorry, that was a movie thing. <laughs> if you're this fucking virgin loser living at your fucking mom's basement or something, and you just watch movies alone all the time like a dork, that shit's going to add up, clearly. But like, I think the average regular person, is, it's love. It's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, the theater, I, theater's a dunzo, though. Yeah, right? But there are still but I hope movies. I hope they keep them open. I hope so too. Because for an experience and for yeah, an event, yeah, 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 certain yeah. movies you like want to see. Like a superhero see, movie, or you want to you know, see you whatever see it, it is. Yeah, into, yeah, of course. Of course. Now, like a comedy or a drama or something like that, like I don't mind watching it at my house. In fact, I'd almost prefer to watch it at my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've been wanting this to happen. Uh, now I have HBO Max. Have any of you's got it yet? No. no, it's literally. I told you on another show. Literally, the only one I don't have right now is I oh, think that's HBO right. Max. That's right. That's right. I'm across that's right. the board, I got everything. Yeah. I've been rocking Hulu lately. Really? It's because I have it. Really? Yeah. What's and it's on like, there that when you I put watch? on Netflix, real shit. All I do is it's just it's automatically on the office, and I just hit play no matter where <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Netflix is slacking lately. And so you know that's just Netflix to me just equals Office, or I can just put on Comedy Central. It's on. Yeah. So like I started looking through Hulu just to see because I'm unfamiliar with it. They what? got some ill shows on there that like other like joints what? don't have. Like I'm trying to re get into the two other uh, funniest shows of all time, which is um, Workaholics 
and um and Always Sunny. I started yeah. Workaholics. Always Sunny is fucking hilarious. I fuck with Always Sunny. Yeah. Workaholics is really Workaholics cool. next level yeah. shit. Yeah. I started season one. I've been rocking with that. But you know, just switching I thought you were gonna say King of Queens. No, that's always on regular. So my DVR keeps a recording of that because oh, okay. it's syndicated. Yeah, 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 it records yeah, yeah. about 17 of them a day. <laughs> yeah. So anytime I want one, I can just hit play. You got plenty of them. Uh, but yo, so on Hulu though, uh, we'll get back into the shit. But yo, so I watched this um, Pete Davidson movie the other night. Oh, this new one. Staten Island one? Sa- yeah, nah, the Staten Island one. I seen that one when it dropped. All this right. is some other shit. It said it was 2019. Mm. Um, like, yo, I never even heard of this shit before. This shit was fucking really, really dope, yo. This shit was really? amazing. Yeah, yeah, I swear to God. Really? Yeah, some little on kid. On Netflix? On Hulu. Hulu. Oh, Hulu. I forget Hulu. the name of it. Something about, um, you know, well, he's this fucking loser guy, whatever. Mm. And fucking, damn, look up his movie so I can right, tell well, you the I name of you. it. I got you. Because I, I thought this shit was crazy and real shit. I don't even remember commercials for it. Um, he's like best friends with this kid who's in high school and he's like basically college age. Huh. Are you sure it's not the Staten Island yeah, one? Nah. Sounds like it. No, 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 no. Staten Island is the firefighter and all that yeah. shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the hotel, movie. he's banging yeah. his girl. That one? Um, MGK was in this one. Yeah, although I saw he's that. probably in that fucking one. Fucking MGK too. is fucking getting. It was dope, right? The, the little right. boy is his friend. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. takes him everywhere, gives him his friend. And they get into a fight. He's not trying to get in a relationship Big with time kind of adolescence. Deal. That that shit. Say it again. What's the name? Big time adolescence. Big time adolescence. You ever remember seeing a commercial for this no. show? No, never heard of it in my life. It's a dope, dope movie. movie. Really, it's really funny. Yeah, and it's just right. a really dope movie all around. Yeah, that shit was dope. Huh? Yeah, I fuck. With There's some people in it. Too. Fucking Pete Davidson. That's funny. I just pulled up his IMDb. The Suicide, the new Suicide Squad movie that's about to come out, which uh-huh. will be released right to uh, HBO. He's now, in that same day. Yeah, he's in that. Yeah. yeah. But man, I was, uh, I was just finding random shit on Hulu. I was like, wow. That movie looks crazy, and I hit no play. Shit. Me and wifey loved that shit. Hey, yo, speaking of um, Pete Davidson, I didn't know we were going to go here, but uh, did anyone see uh, Pete Davidson's skit on um, Saturday Night Live the other night where what, he- The uh, Eminem the shit? The Eminem Santa thing? I saw clips on IG. Hmm. You know, I can't help but think, and I don't want to come across like a hater, but I will, but I, you'll agree with me. I know you will. I heard M shows up at the he end. He does at the part. end, yeah. So it's basically Pete Davidson uh, doing a parody of the Stan video. Shout out my co-star, Devin Sawa, Black Friday shooting now. Uh, but he parodies the Stan video, and mm-hmm. he's basically yelling at Santa saying he wants a PS5. Yeah. And then, yeah, at the end, Eminem the con- shows the up. The concept is really good. Yeah, the concept's really good. I couldn't the help but hearing the rhymes. Yeah, I'm like, damn, like, I... You, we could have done better. I mean, they did all right. I don't want to hate. It wasn't terrible. I think but like, it, we it, could do this. It sounds like I mean, he wrote it himself and they just let him play do it. a little bit. Colder. I'm a year older, but I'm still your soldier. You're my hero because you always bring me the assist. So once again, we're back to zero. Here we go. My Christmas list. I won't be greedy or needy or ask you for too much. Just want one thing and hope you still got that magic touch. Because get yeah, this he wrote that is shit. the only thing keeping me alive. Dear Santa Claus, please bring me a PS5. I tried to and, and it's, then it, it's not supposed to be crazy. Crazy good. lyrically, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But it's got to rhyme a little. And I don't know why he's throwing in those extra syllables that don't fit. I know, but what are you going to do? That drives me insane. I hear that shit like that. drives me insane. Uh, but it, it is kind of funny. The one verse, you know, where uh, where M's like, Dear Mr. I'm too good to call her right, my fans. Yeah, like when where he, he starts snapping. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And Pete's like, you know, uh, dear Mr. Holly Jolly, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. So I was what, like, is, oh, it, what is M's role in this shit? Because I didn't see the M and M. M pop. literally just like shows up at the end and um, weird. Also, is holding a PS5 and is like, oh, uh, I got a PS5 from Santa. Like I didn't even ask for it. Thanks, uh, Santa. I get yeah, it. I get it. Like so, he but the got weird the shit. The first thing I thought about when I when I read that M was in it was that that it's weird that he even did it because Pete Davidson is like real good friends with MGK. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Isn't that weird, right? I didn't even think of that. But I do know that M is definitely friends with Saturday Night Live as a whole. He's, yeah, yeah, he's for sure. performed on there a bunch of times. But yeah, that is kind of funny. But I do think, though, too, like Eminem is kind of at a place now where he's trying to squash a lot of beefs. I know he squashed the, uh, the beef with Lord Jamar. Yeah, I uh, seen that. Royce, Royce made Royce that happen. Royce made, made that a happen. lot of shit happen. Yeah, yeah. You seen Joyner really the other day other say yeah, that he was so. the reason that these squashes. Yeah, let's, Logic yeah, shit. let's talk about that. So, uh, when did Logic and Joyner have beef? Oh, they went Years back ago. and forth, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, you know what I've really forth? seen? I seen on Charlemagne. Charlemagne posted it. That's right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah when yeah, he was yeah. just saying that he was basically admitting, like, I don't know, I was just kind of jealous. He said he was jealous of Logic. You know, we all have that feeling. You know, yeah, of course. When you're watching people that you're as nice, if not, in my case. A lot of times better than th- doing certain things that you know you could do or do. You know, it's people feel that way. If, uh, Absolutely, feel and that I think way. you're not in, real in, in if, any, you, if you fucking say that you don't in any profession. Yeah, a thousand. You know what I'm saying? A you thousand see, percent. You know, 
That goes with anything. Yeah, a thousand percent. Um, I think that's 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 man of you to say. Um, but but yeah, so Joyner went on the Breakfast Club and just yeah. basically said, yeah, I was jealous of Logic and I called him and I apologized and yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I guess Logic said some shit like, wow, man, this is like the realest apology like anyone's ever. Well, that's real. You got it. It wasn't yeah, yeah, it wasn't real it beef, and yeah, if it's yeah, not yeah, real yeah, beef about yeah, real yeah. shit, then it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, you, like, it's easy we, to squash that. What do we even that. talk about? Right. What are we talking let's about? Let's get money. Um, but back to the um, movie shit. So. So the office is about to be out of Netflix. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because NBC I know, I know. has an app coming out called the Peacock. Because Peacock or some shit. is like, going to be a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so always going to be there. I'm about to sell Snuck an office uh, DVD set for twelve dollars a month. There you go. Drew that shit is constant. That uh, shit is on at all times at the crib. It's on Comedy Central. It's on everything. Uh, I know the shit word for word. It's like you about whatever. to have to get the Peacock then if you want to keep watching. Pause. It. Yeah, pause. I think they got a few too. Actually, NBC they got the yeah. Office. They if you're got, NBC, uh, you should have been doing. It. So basically, yeah. everything. As soon as remember when HBO dropped, I said this shit was gonna happen, and this is what every fucking and really WWE started it. I'm just throwing that well, out with there. With the network, yes, yeah. And then you just have everything. So NBC now, so Peacock now, they can literally drop Friends, Thirty Rock, fucking yes. sign for um, yes. whatever, whatever yeah. fucking show ever drop. Massive fucking one shows. stop shop. Yeah, one stop shop. You know, and charge whatever four or five bucks a month. People be on that. Shit. Yeah. Um. Speaking of HBO Max, real quick, I do want to just uh, I do want to just shout out the Undoing. Uh, for some reason, I never talked about that on on this show. I hear about it every day, bro. It is every such. Day. It, it's it's only six episodes. It's yeah. all done, so you can binge it right yeah. now. Uh, it was basically like a murder mystery who done it. Yeah. Uh, where you I don't hit, find yeah. out to the uh, I haven't end. Watch one of so those good, since dude. um. The last one of those that I watched was a HBO one. It was the um, season one of True Detective. True Detective. That was dope. Oh, season one was dope. Yeah, that was really good. Started with season two. I don't even know if we season finished two that one. Sucked, it was so wacky. But season three I heard was they came really back good, good right? too. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. watch a whole lot of those, but I love. I banged those. the first. The first True Detective was dope. Yeah, if anyone... Uh, if I hear people complaining about this one, the ending. Yeah, I thought it was great. All right. I'll, I thought it was great. I'll have to peep some it. Some people didn't like it. Some, you know... I, you know, Dude, now I, I feel like people want the fucking ending to be this huge fucking, like, twist, you know? And, like, sometimes it just mm. doesn't need to be yeah. that, and it's still good. Or they want the Breaking Bad ending where yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, you know what's going to yeah. happen, but it's still dope, yeah, and it yeah. goes out with a bang yeah. type of shit, yeah. like... Do we ever do we ever discuss the Sopranos uh, ending and what we, you thought of that? So even though I've never watched the whole series of you Sopranos, I just ending. watched season one and I know how it ends. Yeah. So some um, people hated that, and then after like you I, know, once I watch the whole series, I'm gonna actually like that ending because I like how they left it up. To I don't to mind you. when you yeah when they yeah. leave it up to you. I it's think like, that's pay attention that's close cool to the sometimes. show and and you'll know what the yeah, fuck exactly. happened. Exactly. Yeah. There is some. There are some hints yeah. in there too. So, um, yeah, bro, I'm super excited for fucking movies to be coming right to HBO Max the same day they so come out. That the, is amazing. So the theaters... And, oh, actually, wait a minute. No, I'm not sure that it is going to be money. I think you pay, like, I pay $15 a month for HBO Max. Okay. So there's not in-app purchases right now on HBO. Everything's oh, right, free. Right, you right, pay right, the monthly right. thing and you got it. Oh, that's so why. I think so if I you don't, have HBO Max, you, have it. you will have these movies yes, when they drop. I don't think it's going to be an extra charge. I could be so wrong. So just that company. What was it? Warner Brothers? Warner Brothers. Warner, remember yeah. them shirts back in the day? Warner Brothers. So, Warner, <laughs> the you see the police coming? coming? Warner Brothers. Warner yeah. Brothers. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. So it's just going to be... Like Warner Brothers has a deal with HBO, yeah. So this next one, fucking whatever, is gonna strike a deal with. Yeah, fucking, you got to imagine other yeah. studios are gonna follow suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because basically, what what Warner Brothers said in that in that uh, in that press release was, yo, like our movies do us no good if nobody's seeing them. Yeah, exactly. you know what You're I mean. So it's yeah. like they're just sitting on the shelf. So we might as well put them out. So I'd be telling I mean? you, it's like the, uh, the the music that we make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sitting there. Yeah, just yeah. When you don't put it out, platinum records. Platinum, Platinum records. records sitting, on. sitting on. I'm the I king know. of sitting on joints. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. So, yeah, I, I, I definitely think other studios are going to follow suit, and I, for one, am here for it. Uh, although, like you said, I'm not. I hope the theater doesn't completely go away. But Me too, because, you know, hopefully it doesn't completely go away, even if they just keep a few screens open for the IMAXs or yeah, something. Yeah, for the people you know that, I mean? like, you know, yeah. want to get out on a That's Friday night or whatever. Yeah. But, mm. um, all right, why don't you take what? Uh, why don't you take the next story and uh, what did you think was kind of like the bigger, the biggest thing? I don't know about stuff yet, was, but I just was, did we? Um, did you guys do fucking Black Friday shit, or did you start any Christmas shopping? Bullshit? I did start some Christmas shopping. I didn't go on Black Friday though. Okay, because I don't physically go on Black Friday. I just yeah. mean like, did oh you yeah, go, like you know? shop online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did Cyber Monday. 
I got a couple things on Cyber okay, Monday. Dope. So just in case you don't know, because it sounds like you don't, but the way you're referring to the specific days, like it's been Black Friday since fucking like the end of uh Halloween. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, just my sales. E- my email started yeah, yeah, yeah. in fucking early November. Yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah. Black Friday, not three weeks early. Be. I've I know. been getting these fucking deals. Long story short, I shot my ass off in the last like 20, 25 days. Got some good deals. I've been buying way too much shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, every single day I got packages on my fucking yeah, front lawn. I feel you. Along my fucking front you. porch, I mean. Yeah, I feel you. I didn't, out. I didn't go uh, Black Friday or shop really crazy on Black Friday. Plus, I was still getting over that fucking Thanksgiving mm. hangover. Uh, but I have I have done a little bit of shopping in the past couple of weeks. There's, the numbers must have been up crazy, going. crazy oh, like, yeah, online-wise Yeah, this yeah, year, yeah. Right? yeah. I think it broke a record, Because COVID, people ain't going out anyways, yes. right? That's the other thing. That could be another conversation is fucking brick and mortar stores. Like Jules, the you mall went, or... You went to um, the stores to shop for your Christmas, for your kids nah. this year? Mm, no. Nah. Like most of it's getting on, delivered online. on your doorstep, right? Yep. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. No I went hard. Shit. Yo, the, cra- the saddest part is like all the shit that was delivered to my house was for me. Like, you know <laughs> really? What I'm yeah, of course. They're going to be expecting all kicks, kinds of gifts. All You're types like, of shit. Dad. You're yeah. going to be like, damn, dad, I got a lot of stuff. I was like, yo, I cannot open this in front of you. I just go up in my room and open that shit and try shit on in front of the mirror. Uh, I got some I deals this say, year, yo. Yeah, I mean, so there's a couple of these headlines, but. Amazon says that this year's holiday shopping period has been the biggest in history. Yeah. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. It, so it'll probably it's, it's only go up, up, but crazy. it might dip down slightly because this year is, this is the year of COVID and shit. Yeah. But. I know. I, I would think that it would be down. Like people are people are holding on to their money a little bit more, but <sighs> nah, I guess see, not. See, you would think people got bread and they want to spend it when they yeah. see like fucking 70% off. Some yeah, shit they were waiting on. Here's another one. Uh, CNBC, Black Friday 2020 online shopping surged, went up 22% to a record $9 yeah. billion. Dollars. Yeah. $9 Damn. billion dollars was spent on the Please. internet just on Black Friday. That one day, one day? $9 yeah. billion. Dollars. Crazy. That's why I think that the government should, like, you know, give us another fucking stimulus because what are yeah. we doing for the most part with that money? Paying a couple bills and then kicking it back yeah, right, yeah, right yeah. back kicking into the economy. Yeah. Maybe taking your girl out to eat or buying <laughs> yeah. a fucking gift for, for yourself real. or, you know what I mean? It's not like we're fucking hoarding the money. And I'll even get, I, I get these emails that are like, um, oh, the emails are bad. The bro. emails are they so bad. Me. It, it actually me. reminds me of, um, what's that doc that I watched on Netflix? The, um, Social dilemma. Social dilemma. This yeah, is how yeah, they do yeah, it, right? No, yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. like, this is the Google portion, I guess, because I'll get a Gmail that's like, hey, remember that thing you checked out last I month? I just got one of those. It's 40% yeah, off today. And I'll like, be how like, could say, I not? Word. say less, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm all say over that. Say less, best buy. Say less. I got you. Yep. I know, I know. I, I, fall, I fall victim yeah. to this shit, but not for nothing. It's like, it's like, yo, good luck, Best Buy. Yeah. I didn't know that she was forty percent off today. Are you, uh, are you like a coupon clipper? Like nah. as far as no, no, no. I'm an email receiver and a and a clicker of fucking great deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I have definitely, you know, joined a few email lists to get twenty percent off. Like, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Now we all got that email. Yeah, yeah, that we yeah. Give for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I'll do shit. I'll do shit like that if it, if it makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. I'm I'm like a member of certain yeah. things, like you know, like uh, like a finish line or like yeah. certain things that like if if it makes sense, like meaning if you gain points and you end up getting yeah. like fifty dollars off some kicks one day or some shit like that, yeah. I always do shit like that. Yeah, but I don't have to do anything other than like sign up, sign up, and watch yeah, my yeah, points yeah. gather. I got a, I got a couple shop. different emails too, like just in case you know, like if it's something that I already signed up for yeah, and yeah. I need it again, I can use like a different email. You you um, don't you don't gotta you don't have a big uh, who you got a Christmas shop list for? Nah, do you? not really. That's dope. Nah, not really. That is dope. You know, mine ain't that big neither. Y'all keep my circle small. I got the shorty this year though. You know, so okay, I'll probably do that. I got my mom. You know, my little brothers and sisters, but that's about it. Is that difficult for you buying something for a female on the first Christmas? Nah, not really. I I look forward to it. You saw the tree out there doing the I tree. I did. That was real, right? Yeah, the real Christmas tree. I told you, real I tree you. over everything, bro. <laughs> I warned you last Christmas about the real trees. I like it. I'm not gonna. This lie. thing's crawling around in here that you can't even see. <laughs> Yo, you probably you are definitely right. <laughs> I was right before the tree came in. Though. Yo, yeah, that's probably true too. <laughs> Uh, coming out of my fucking futuristic <laughs> trash barrel. Facts. Um, but yo, fucking uh, yo, that tree sucks up water, bro. I couldn't believe it. Like yeah. I didn't water it for like eight hours, and that shit was bone dry. I was like, holy shit. Bro. Yeah, that's crazy. That fucking shit is 
sucking up water. Yeah, it's been um, so long I can't even remember that shit. And fucking sixty dollars for a tree. Wow. What geez, happened to twenty five dollars, yo? Oh, pay a few hundred, get yourself a nice fake yeah. one. Yeah, yo, my man. We life. so we went up. Me and Shorty went up to my man's house a couple weeks ago. At Home he Depot, he had a nice tree. I know he gets his at Home Depot. He definitely does. And he <laughs> said, "Yo, we got this uh, in January." Like a month after Christmas, it was a three hundred dollar tree, and we got it for a hundred bucks. Smooth. I always. Yeah, t- I literally told somebody that like two days ago. Yeah, that's the I move. I was like, just fucking wait. Because I went into yeah. Home Depot looking at fake trees, and they're fucking kind of pricey, bro. They're crazy. Yo, they have one for five hundred of a day. Yeah, it was like a hundred and fifty dollars, yeah. and it was a rinky dink one. I'm like, damn, that's bro. Crazy. Like that's crazy. It's no different than anything else. You you fucking you roll up to CVS the day after Easter, yeah, you're getting you Easter get candy, candy for ninety yeah, percent off. Yeah, Same yeah, with Halloween. That shit facts. works with everything. Christmas Same with grills. Shit. All it's that a good, shit. It's a good yep. thing for grills. Yep. Um, but yeah, I like the, you know, it's nice. It's nice having a little shorty. You know, I get back, you got to put the tree up, bro. You know, get some gifts. What did you, what did you uh, play for Christmas music when you decorate the tree? Uh, so, uh, Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey. Did you have like a mix going? On. Yeah. Or was it? Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Cause uh, hit that, Spotify, I, hit, uh, I'm sorry, you don't have Xfinity fucking, anymore, but yeah, whatever. Nah, nah. You can still with YouTube, whatever. Yeah. YouTube TV. You still yeah, put yeah, on yeah. that shit. Nah, I just went to Spotify, typed in, uh, Christmas and fucking the playlist comes right up, you know? Played, I got uh, the, the Mariah shit that dropped on Apple. Oh, the what's Apple that? TV, Apple TV Mariah special with Ariana Grande and Snoop oh, and fucking shit. everybody. Yeah. Really? It's like a new concert, new thing. Because she dropped a new song. Yeah. Oh, a new Christmas song? Yeah. Oh, what? Santa. It's like, you know, it's a remake. Oh, Santa's a remake, right? Let's, uh. But let's... it's her and Ariana Grande and Jay Hud. What? Jennifer Hudson. She did it in one take, but the engineer kept fucking up and she had to do it a few different times. Really? No, it's from Sandy uh, Rexley. Oh, yeah. I was just seeing if Jules was paying attention and he was not. not. Uh, Hold on, let's play a little bit of this. I haven't heard it. I didn't even know, bro. Yeah, Ariana looking right. They both hit the high note at the same time. It's a beautiful situation. But I've been waiting to watch it with my uh, with my daughter. Ariana, bro, does it for so me. So bad. Does it for me. Love that, that skinny little bitch. body. Yeah, yeah. I'm a face guy, yo. I like, I like her face. Yeah, this shit is pretty much the littest Christmas song I've heard in a long time. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's taking over the GOAT of uh, All I Want for Christmas is You. Nah, she but... can't take over herself. But this shit is lit, though. Okay. I'm surprised this didn't play on my on my, uh, on my my Christmas on my Christmas mix, yo. I played a little uh, Christmas in Hollis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played a little DMX singing fucking uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, because how could you <laughs> So not? you're playing these joints one by one? Uh, There's no, like, playlist? Yeah, no, I mean, I did have the Christmas playlist on there for a little bit, but then I had to switch it up because it was, like, legit, like, stupid, like, Feliz Navidad and fucking, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I needed some... Yo, my Latinos, you heard that shit? There's hate, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. You just Yo, lost the Latino vote with I that think, one. I think we need some more rap Christmas songs, man. Yeah, you don't do that no more because it's not cool. You know what? This, yeah, these like young I kids did. right now, this might be the generation to do it because they, like, dance and they're, yeah. they're bad at, like, music and, yeah. like, skill-wise and shit. So they, they might, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They'll just yeah. do some funny shit like that. Yeah. But Gu- yeah, Gucci, like Gucci did like a he did Christmas did he do a, yeah did he right uh, we talked about that right the Gucci Jeezy thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah we did speak about that while we're on it did you hear so we speak we spoke about that yeah right? but That's while our, we're on versus G Unit uh, Cameron nah oh Keisha Cole Ashanti yes okay what, what is all this right. G Unit so, thing yeah, you that speak was of? announced oh you didn't hear that no it's put me on right oh, now all right so uh, on the Joe Button podcast they started speculating uh, about how Atlanta had you know Joe was like yo you did it big for Atlanta you gave them Gucci versus Jeezy yo, such yo. a huge moment for Atlanta New York needs a moment and what would yeah. be a huge New York moment G Unit versus uh, Dipset. Dipset gotta be Dipset gotta yeah, be yeah, Dipset yeah. right yeah. or Mace versus uh, Cam. Problem with that is that 50 don't really get along with G-Unit. Exactly. So they call Swiss Beats. Swiss says, kind of like basically says that he's working on G-Unit versus Dipset. They then call Jim Jones. uh, And Jim basically says what you just said. Like, you thought that the tension was crazy with Jeezy and Gucci. Hmm. Like, we, like, it, it, like, you know. Even recently, fifty did fifty along. recently say that he wish he never even made you. In it? Yes, <laughs> How, I know. Like, we never really got into that, but he is such a fucking troll. And so, bro. even if you take the two leaders out, so if fifty's not there and if Cam's not there, and you just let the the other rappers of I each think go, you still got twenty. You you do, but you still can't really rock it because that it's a lot of this shit is so hook heavy with fifty yeah, and fifty's yeah, yeah, all yeah, over those yeah, records. Yeah. Jim, Cam's all over them records. Jim on the phone was like, what is G-Unit going to do? Just play 50 albums? Mm. Like he was like taking shots. But. Now, 
Actually, nah, that actually would be dope. If they couldn't, I'm gonna go with if Gene. they couldn't play no 50 verses, or th- maybe we're and gonna the wait. The other one could cam. And the other one, no cam verses. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. play like so Joel's plays. Yeah. I really mean it. Yeah, and yeah, it's versus yeah, yeah. fucking. Jim Jones got balling. Yes. Uh, fucking somewhere And it's in versus Miami. the Lloyd Banks hit record, uh, and they, they go back and forth. They got more than 20. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 50 calling Lloyd, lazy Lloyd. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna go with Unit on this one. Who would you take, Dipset versus Man? It's, it is so tough. you got to really think about it if you take away Fifth and which Cam. I don't think they're gonna do. But nah, I don't think so either. So, so does you this play e- those records? Does this even get worked out? Probably, probably not. not. Probably not. But you know what did get worked out? Keisha, Keisha versus, Cole versus Ashanti. Ashanti. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not the biggest Keisha person. Okay, I, I could o- I could probably only name you. Uh, I should have cheated. Okay. Mm, I'm struggling to The first one Love Well how did that go Man if I sing that hook right now That shit would sound crazy Please do it's it It's one so word we, So we can uh, Nah I can't hit that So uh, I no. can make it a drop So this is So <laughs> I almost did it Nah I'm oh, not gonna do it oh, uh, yo, yo, see yo, that yo, yo, I'm not bet, I'm not bent enough To wild out like that uh, <laughs> So when I first seen it It came out of nowhere On my feet I was not a, a, ex, Expecting that battle I love Ashanti in a battle Right I don't know if I would have put her. So ideally, I think a, a, a Maya or somebody like that goes would've... better with Ashanti. Goes right? better with an Ashanti. Yes, yes, yes. So here's yes, the thing: because yes, there's yes, more, yes. there's more like mainstream hits. To more go. So Ashanti hits. got hits. Yes. Okay. Bro. So she's she's gonna win clearly. Yes. But the the Keisha Cole slander right now, I'm not really here for it. Because if this was a if this was a vocal competition, it would be fucking over in two seconds. Keisha Cole all, all over the place would, yeah. would thrash her vocally. Mm. But we're talking about they're going round for round with record songs. for record. Song. Bro, listen. But Ashanti just plays this and walks away. Come on. You just uh, hear that. Dun, dun, dun. Come on! Oh, it's a fucking smash, bro. Here's the thing. But here's you the thing. Forget about that's what a Keisha Ja has, Rule though. song. That's a Ja no, Rule that's a, song. But that's a half and half. So she can play hooks. What is she There's gonna play? Eight no, no, no. seconds she's, of she's it. She's in the verses of those. That's a half is and she, half record. Like the other four or five records they got. My life. You know you're right. That's, that's right. a yeah, verse. Yeah, that's a verse. Yeah. Uh, don't don't but, get it twisted. About, like she don't got hits. But dog. what about like something like this? Like, <laughs> tell me what to play. Oh, here, here, here. Actually, you know what? Here, no, no, no. Hold on, hold nah, on, hold on, hold on. I don't got no time. Here, here. That's all you. Fam. God. What's on here? What's this? That's Keisha's thing. That's Keisha's uh uh page. Dog, so how God. can you first of all I mean I don't yeah, like how this she's is. probably gonna win with uh she's probably gonna win with fucking you know Dog, she cheated. Are you serious right now? Oh wait a minute. What's this? This is fucking last night with Diddy. Like people forget she got records, dog. Big, big from records. Oh I I get an answer. This shit was this shit was the littest song in the history of life, yo. Last I wouldn't let me die. This shit is crazy, man. She oh, yeah, got joints. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. She can see. Most of the joints I play is album cuts. Like, Sent from Heaven is next level. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I. That's kind of what. But it's about the, hits and the shot. He's going to thrash it with the hits. Exactly. And that's kind of what I've seen the consensus to be between um, people in, in the scene and, <clears throat> and on Twitter is that Ashanti got the crazy hits. Yeah. Uh, Keisha got the crazy album cuts. Yeah. You know? Remember this one? When Missy, when that song come on, they gon' mix it with Biggie like, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's gonna know. be a fun night, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna have way more fun than that boring fucking uh, Jeezy and Gucci battle. Yeah, that was the worst one to me out of all of them shits. You wildin'? Yeah, for real. You wildin'? That was the worst one I, I watched. Like that the one the that I, one? I just couldn't get into the most. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know a lot of those records, so I kind of, I kind of hear you when you say that. But uh, I'm all over this one. I don't know. I, I but it's like so, it. it's. I think it's in December sometime. It's coming up. Oh, it's is it is it in December? It's dropping soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm watching the fuck out of that. Um, one. You know what they did for this one? I think they put it oh, on a Saturday night too. Really? They're trying to get millions. They're trying yeah, to yeah. get that. Uh, yeah, but that could that could backfire. You know what I mean? Well, it could, is COVID. It's winter. You know? It's COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, bro. Dog. If Come she, on! Yo, the craziest shit too is I doubt she even plays it. Really? Yeah. Doubt she even plays it. Really? Now, it's like my favorite song Why? she ever made in the history of life. It's not her song, also, it's Lloyd's, but. 
Yeah, yeah, south side. Chicken but yeah, I mean, those are giant strings. chicken wings. Oh, on chicken strings. wings on strings yeah, is over. Bro. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, this battle's gonna be lit. I'm coming here and treating it like a pay per view. <laughs> getting lit and watching the Shanti with Keisha Cole. That's Cole. great. All right. Well, speaking of pay per view, uh, let's yes. talk about let's Beautiful talk about transition. which one, which you know, which was probably one of the fucking biggest events I would say of the past few months. Iron Mike Tyson back in the boxing room. I know you didn't watch the official shit. How'd you get a link? Uh, no, I actually did. My man in New Hampshire bought the bought the shit because he's rich. So <laughs> shout out to this man in yeah, New Hampshire. He just bought the thing. The mystery uh, man in New yeah, Hampshire yeah, that be yeah, feeding yeah, yeah. and putting them on the pay per views <laughs> for free and shit. <laughs> like, so nah, fuck. you know my guy. Nah, bro. I know, I know, but they don't. Um, yeah, yeah. So we we went up there. Shorty and I went up there. Uh, got the fucking fight. Got got wavy, bro. And I thought it was great. I wasn't expecting all Super those performances. Super entertaining. I didn't even know. Snoop was doing a commentary. He should I, comment everything. It's beautiful. Literally, yeah. I would listen to that guy read the fucking bus schedule. That is beautiful, yeah. The way he was clowning the dudes when they were yeah. like getting knocked down yeah. and shit. Like he's singing and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um I didn't th- I, I I saw it was more of like a sideshow, clown show shit when I heard Snoop doing I you know, I love Snoop, but yeah. like, but they had an official dude. They had Yeah. It was like half he was like, official, Snoop half was the clown color. show. Snoop yeah, was of course the he was the color, yeah. But you know, it was dope. I watched, so I didn't even tune in. I was tuning in early on the feed. My man sent mm. me. It was like real boxing mm. and shit. I didn't give a fuck about these little kids. And then I put on when it was Nate Robinson um, getting Jake Paul getting banged out by the Paul banged kid. out, bro. Oh, Made your boy I a mean, hate those kids. dude. Made I, him a mean. I think I hate those kids even more now after like watching yeah. them the last few weeks. But uh, well, I mean, hate him, hate him. Say what you will. The kid can fight. The kid can box. Can he though? He's not a fight. He's a YouTube kid, right? Yeah, he is. No, he but, can, he's a big he, dude. Yeah, he but also he can knocked fight. out a fucking he, he's the tiniest NBA player. Yeah, that's like, true. Ever. That's true. But he he had another fight before this where he did really well too. So, uh, you know, yeah, no, he's not like a. You know, boxer, but he's been training, and I'll give it to him. Yeah. He, he can fight. He can, you know, technically and, fight. And so, so don't front. Interesting to see when you saw the the flyer for the next fight. You definitely thought that that was the same Paul, right? Because I know I did. It is the same Paul. Nah, Jake Paul. It's the brother now that's fighting. Um, no. Yes. No. You see, you just found out right no now. No way. No way. That wouldn't right even now. make sense. It's a whole nother brother fighting. Um. Who's he May fighting? Weather. Mayweather. Yeah, that's another brother. No way. That's another brother. <laughs> Holy shit. You're right. <laughs> Logan another Paul. And you're right. Everybody was like, damn, that's quick. This kid popping off. And then somebody was what like, yo, the yo, that's the, fuck? that's the brother. Yo, that ain't even him. That doesn't even make sense. Why not? They're YouTube people. They're not like real. That doesn't even make sense. Yo, imagine, imagine if this kid puts Floyd on his fucking ass. <laughs> nah, no chance. It's not going to happen. No chance. And it's an exhibition. He's going to... Floyd won't get touched once. He doesn't get touched once by real boxers. He's not going to get touched. I cannot once. believe that that's not Jake Paul. Yo, Stiz just found this shit out right now. Did you know, Jules? I think I thought it was Jake as well. Okay. That's so, so I, I did, weird. I did too because you just look quickly and they're like, whatever, blonde white He's guy so from Cali, whatever. Right. I swear to God, I fucking hate the internet sometimes and I just hate where we're at as a society with media and pandering. I just happen to come across this. This isn't on the dock. This isn't on anything. Is it the Jamal Hill thing? Vice TV uh, just tweeted this so five days ago. Question of the week. Was Jake Paul knocking out Nate Robinson racist? racist? So wackiest question I ever heard in my life. What? On what the, way, the fuck are you so talking on the way, about? I never heard of this, but on the way here, they played the audio. Do you want to hear no, this? No, no, no. It's just care? it's literally just them asking the question, is it racist? Okay, and he's like, okay. what? He's like, no. Fucking Like, yo, Jesus my man, like, Christ. come on. It wasn't Jamel. It was the other one that, that made it. It's like, yo, come on. What are we doing? Is it racist? And I got paid to fucking fight a dude and I fucking knocked his ass out. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Um, don't, yo, don't do shit like that because it, it takes away from real racist yeah, shit that we got I, going a on. Thousand I fucking percent. hate that shit. A thousand, thousand percent. Yeah, that was Jamel Hill. Uh, yo. Nah. He. She posed the question. It was more of a. More of a joke. I don't think it was real, but she had a co-host on there that took it. Mm, Carly, serious. yeah, Carl something. And that girl's like, "Well, what do you mean? We're in crazy times right now. We'll answer the question: Is it racist?" And that's not like, yeah. "Wait, what? The fuck are we talking about?" Unbelievable, here? unbelievable. Uh, yo, but I, I thought, I thought that kid Jake Paul did a good job, like because because so Nate Robinson gets knocked out in an ugly way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugly, ugly, ugly way, bro. And uh, you know, instantly became a meme. Did you see how Nate oh, handled the it memes. the next day? I didn't see how Nate handled. He kind of owned it and yeah, was yeah. just like, "Yeah, I got knocked the fuck out." Yeah. Like, it is, he knows it he's is a meme. It is. it is what it is. You kind of got to. This, he, no, I, if you try to fight it, bro, you're only gonna make it I even mean, worse. The Paul kid said that Nate was the one to hit him up to be like, "Yo, I'll be the one." Oh, if really? The NBA plays to f- fight, whatever. 
And so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But huh. I thought he handled himself well, the the kid that I don't like. Yeah, Jake Paul. No, uh, he on the, did. On the interview after. Yeah, well, yeah, that Jim yeah. Gray interview? I fucking hate Jim Gray. Oh, he, and I'll tell you, and did I ever tell you the Maddie and Nick Jim Gray story when he fucking yelled at me and wanted to take my phone? Yes, you did. Jim Gray. Fucking hate that picture. guy. Oh, he's yeah, such a cunt. Everyone out here hates that guy. Yeah, he's such a cunt. Um, but yeah, and, and then Jake Paul like rolled with it. Uh, I saw him like he did a video or something with Lil Baby and made a song called like I Mark saw that, and they were like, This shit. kid's already making videos yeah, in the background yeah, and shit. Yeah. I mean, you By gotta the way, capitalize uh, on that as much uh, as you can. grab that, grab that, um, for a drop. He, Jim Gray is a cunt. No, no, he's he's a cunt because we could use <laughs> yeah, that with yeah, a lot, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so then it ha- so then Mike Tyson comes out, okay. I mean, bro, I'm just going to say this. It literally looked like Roy Jones ran a thousand miles and it looked <laughs> yeah. like Mike just got up. Like, yeah. I don't know, rolled out of bed. Yeah. Like, I feel like know. he was still down to fight more. Oh, he a thousand yeah. percent was. Yo, the ribs, the rib shots. So my feed was actually cutting in and out a lot during that main event, during the Tyson shit. So I like fucking missed portions of it, mm. like minutes at a time. Went eight rounds, went from, the distance. From what I gather, it was just, you know, the fucking body blows and shit from the shit I saw. And Towards I the end, though, Roy just kept wrapping them up. Yeah, yeah, wrapping yeah. them up. Like, a lot Roy of dudes used tired. to do that. I remember being a little kid again and so mad that Holyfield kept doing that, that when he bit him, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was yeah, like, yo, yeah, the fucking, yeah, stop yeah. grabbing him, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight. Yeah, fight. Yeah, I, I hate that, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you got to understand Roy. Like, Roy, Roy was probably fucking so beat and yeah. just ready to go. And they even asked him after, they're like, you know, would you do this again or something? And he was just like, Man, this fucking guy, like he, you shout know, shout out to Tyson it, it, for calling him out though, and being like, "What do you mean, this guy fought? Yeah, this is two four years, years ago, three, yeah, three, four yeah, years yeah, ago, yeah. I haven't fought like fifteen years. Yeah. Let's go." Oh, and let's talk about this. Tyson lost a hundred pounds. Did he get that big? He dropped a hundred pounds to he's fight only, Roy Jones. He's only what, like five? He looked like ten? an eighth patient. Five. Did you not think that? He was, Looking at him, he was skinny as nah, fuck, he, he bro. Looked, he looked good, but he, I knew he was. You know, got bigger, but I know he's like fat, fat. Nah, That's bro, crazy. he had to lose a uh, uh, hundred. What was that? Oh, shit, oh, shit's right. going That's down. What happens when you're in the hood? Nah, they yo. can't hear that on these on these fucking um, type of mics, right? Yeah, now. dog. He he had to cut shit, they're getting closer, pounds. Yo. 100 yeah. pounds, I don't know if that's Listen, a lot. Mike Tyson is 54, but that didn't stop him from losing some serious weight ahead of his fight against Roy Jones Jr. at the Staples Center. According to Yahoo Sports, Iron Mike lost 100 pounds in hmm. preparation for the bout and weighed in at 220. Damn. That means before that, he was at 320. He also said in an interview... 320? I don't know if he was 320. Yeah, no, He's not like a, a tall lot. dude, yo. He's not, a, yeah, he is not a tall dude, but, uh, but yo, that's what he's saying. Yeah, he lost a hundred pounds, bro. A hundred. He thinks it was a hundred pounds. I don't want to talk crazy. It's Mike Tyson. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he thinks I mean, it was a hundred pounds, especially like, the next time he comes on. That's so exactly. That's problems. the last thing I need. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me see this because I didn't. I didn't actually see this. Let's see if this says anything. Folks, been checking in with you. You've been putting some uh, some posts out there. We see you look great, but you have to help you ain't us. Seen out. nothing, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes, you ain't. Well, I, I clearly you're, you're proud. I'm talking about, homie. <laughs> brother Holmes, this is where it's at, man. He's proud, yo. Yeah, he is. is. But look, this I mean, where he's that, brother. That is in, home. That's impressive. Uh, I've never spoken with you. Uh, I think. Oh, okay, I get to get the uh, get. The, you know, it's funny, right? So um, Shorty's a little younger than me, right? So we were watching the fight, and I was telling her about. Do you no remember? No idea who Mike Tyson is. Well, didn't really remember some of the fucking memorable Mike Tyson moments. Like, yeah. do you remember when like the, I'll eat your children? I'll eat shit. your children. My favorite one. I'll fuck you in your ass till you love me. That shit is crazy. <laughs> That's legendary shit. Yeah. Um, what what was the other thing that? Oh, there was remember, so many. Though. Remember Peter McNeely? Yes. And when Peter and Peter did like the fucking rhyme or the rap when he was at the press conference? Yeah, I forgot he did that. And he was like. Anyone who doesn't think that I can knock out Tyson, you got a big dump in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, check Yo, this out. The other day, Peter McNally, Stuck bro. on Stuff alumni, Dante Luna posted on socials that that's his uncle or some shit like I that. I saw that. Shout and out Dante. And I was Dante. like, whoa. And I looked at the picture. I was like, God, looks familiar. And I, looked, I was like, it's fucking Peter McNeely. He's older yeah, now, obviously, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so real shit, right? Uh, I have a stepbrother who I don't fuck with no more. I haven't fucked with him in like 20 years. Uh, I know how to hold the fucking grudge, right? <laughs> so, so fucking when we, I was a young kid, and this was leading up to the fight. Oh, was it leading up? Was he leading up to the fight or right up? So, was, what are we talking? Nine seven, nine six, whatever it yeah, is, right? I don't even. Fucking Peter McNeely's number was listed in the 
fucking yellow pages oh, out geez. here. Because it was yellow yeah, pages. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I was a little kid. Yo, we used to prank Peter fucking oh, McNeely all the time. And yo, when I seen Dante Luna post it, I was his uncle. The first thing I immediately thought that of, yeah, I used hilarious. to prank this dude all the time. That is so funny. We used to prank him leading up to the fight. What like, I would do to get like, your fucking head knocked off. Would he shit, answer? Right? Yeah, he would answer. We'd have conversations with dude. Oh, he would answer his my house God. phone. And we were kids pranking him. And then after the um thing, we would prank him too. I don't know if his number got changed or if we just stopped. And, and you know, the infamous thing, he ends up getting knocked out in less than like 60 seconds. Yeah, well, cause, so that was Tyson's comeback fight. Yes, when he had just got out. It was the jail, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And they put Peter... Because I think he was supposed to fight someone else and something happened. The fighter got sick or whatever Shout happened. out to happened. McNeely for me like, hell yeah, I'll fight yeah, Tyson. I mean, yeah, he got, yeah he got it and he'll, he'll forever be in the history books. You yep. know, we're saying his name now for 20, yeah. 30 years later. That's beautiful. But, but yeah, but that, that was But your girl had hilarious. no fucking idea <laughs> yeah, who, nah. who Tyson but is, obviously. That was such a fucking... Uh, it was so funny to go back and watch those things and show her. Like, this is so funny. Um, all right, yeah. So, all right, well, uh, Triller. D- Triller put that event on. Did you know that? Triller? Uh, the, yeah, I did know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right. shout out to them. They did a really good job with that. The set looked really good. Super random, but it did look good. You're going to pay 50 bucks again for that, right? Or, you mm. know, illegally get a link. I you? need better people involved yeah, than like yeah, the yeah. Pauls and the fucking... All right, but let's just say Tyson's going to fight someone next time. Real shit, it depends who it is because, you know, at their age, they are just going to hug each other and snuff each other in the ribs. That is kind of true. As that long as the word true. exhibition is on it. Like, remember when we when we first reported on it, um, when mm-hmm. we got the story first mm-hmm. before anybody, and we were so excited because we thought Tyson, like, in a boxing, yeah. like, like I pictured him going for heads, like, you know, he was a heavyweight, technically. That's where, you, you know, dudes get knocked the fuck out, yeah. at least back then yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the excitement, like, it's not going to be like that. Obviously, they're fucking yeah. in their 50s. Uh, that event raked in 1.6 million pay-per-view buys. I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, no, these yeah. are the numbers. Because uh, think about how many people fucking our age and younger just got the stream. Yeah, or even yeah. our year, nope. our age and 10 years older. Nope. It uh, it sold more than 1.6 million pay-per-view that's buys. That's they true, were $50 that's each, and they sold 1.6 million. I like the it price. Ranks, they kept the price realistic, at least. Yep. It ranks uh, the fight among the top 10 combat sports ever. It's on pay-per-view. As far as uh, buys? Yes. Jesus yes. Christ. Yep. Remember um the member Connor versus um Mayweather. Floyd yeah, that was, was a hundo. The, that was one of the biggest. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a hundo. That's obviously got to be up there, right? Uh, but think about so that was half the price. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. Can't complain, but you're not getting I don't know if you're getting entertainment. They brought in uh they generated more than 80 million dollars in revenue. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. Jesus. So uh, I definitely think Triller, that was a great event. I think they pulled that off successfully, and I think we are going to see more of that. And I think uh, I think Snoop did a great job, and I think he will be uh No, nah, Snoop body that trusts me. Every, more everyone's shit. trying to get out yeah. here to, to do the next shit. What, it, what is this uh, Wikipedia gets this to donate? Oh, what yeah, yeah. So I went on. Uh, do, uh, do you use Wikipedia? I mean, just What do you mean general, by use? Do you go on it or something? You know, like, oh, I want to look up. Uh, For a fact-finding yeah, information? Yeah, fact-finding. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many times would you say you use it a month? Oh, fuck. Less than one? Less than one. I use it probably three to five, I'd say. Especially with work. I'd say like I probably Maybe average or, yeah. half a time. Of, no, I don't know. Yeah, less than one. I went on Wikipedia the other night because I just, you know, one of those things where you're arguing with a friend or something, you know, and you're like, oh, I'll just That's when you use it. it right? That's yeah, when you yeah, use yeah. it, yeah. So but then go, knowing that it could be wrong because anybody could write on anybody, it. Ain't that yeah, true? pretty much. Pretty much. Um, but so I went on there and immediately when I went on there, it, it was this whole sob story about... Uh, Wikipedia is a nonprofit. We we do not charge for information. We believe information should be free and shared. Even and if da, it's da, fake da, da, information. Da. And uh, they were like, they did not get you to give them. Yeah, money. they basically. And so they go. Uh, their their final sales pitch was, "Do you think you've gotten five dollars worth of information from Wikipedia?" Get the fuck out! And of I here. was like. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I <laughs> Yo! I, I probably did get a little Yo, $5. if I ever seen that, I would be like, who the fuck would ever <laughs> give that money like that? And, yeah, I, and I know and somebody. there's me, yeah. Holy shit. I gave shit. him five bucks. Yeah, I gave him five bucks. Five I bills. Felt bad. What are they I saying? They're, bad. they're saying they're going under their fucking well, website. They're yeah, not... I mean, they just, like they said, they're a non-profit. They don't charge, you know, they don't charge you to use no the site. No fucking dirt. So. They're, they're on the internet. They're a website. 
You would think they would have a lot of money from ads, though, right? Because they must have a lot of traffic to that shit. And you would think they you would, would think. make a lot of money so, from ads. So whenever you Google something, a lot of times, for, if, if it's a specific question up. like yeah, that yeah, or yeah. actor's name or some shit, first shit is Wikipedia, mm-hmm. right? So I don't even really yeah, get that. Part. I think you, are you sure that wasn't like a prince from Egypt? <laughs> <or> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Situation? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, you want it? That's so funny. I haven't told anyone this story, really. And it wasn't on the dock. He's like, check this out. You, I almost you think got I scammed. got ran that time? Yeah, no, nah, I almost out, got scammed the other day, bro. Dude, I was walking across the street from my house, and I was walking across the street to my house. A fucking minivan pulls over, like, out of nowhere. Just pulls over, like, right in front of my house, right in front of me. It's this, like, heavy set Middle Eastern guy. He's, like, young 40s, maybe, right? Uh-huh. I, 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 like, I'm like, what's up? He's like... My friend, come here, please. I walk over, right? I look in the car. <laughs> Throw him in the van. Middle Eastern guy, heavy set, middle, you know, he's wearing like a dress shirt. He's got a thick ass uh, gold rope chain on. He has a fucking nice gold watch. He's got a big thick Who ring. Who is this, Pat Ah, shout out that guy, Pat Levon. Uh In the passenger seat is a Muslim woman in the fucking full hijab or okay. whatever, right? And uh, I'm like, what's up? He's like, yo, my friend, please, I, I have no gas money. I run out of gas money. I please, I'm trying, I have to go back home to Florida, please. Can you just give me any amount of money, anything else? Please, I need gas money. I'm like, bro, like, I'm I'm kind of broke. Like, I don't even really keep cash on me like that, bro. Like, I got all plastic. Like, I don't know if I, please, my friend, please go to ATM. This bro, is the craziest shit. This is a 100% true story. And this just happened last week. He takes off his chain. It's a thick ass gold, uh, like Cuban link. Takes off the chain, takes my hand, opens it, puts the fucking chain in my hand. My friend, please, I give you this. Just give me, I just need some money, please. I need gas money. I need to get back to Florida. I go, my man, why don't you just go sell that shit? Like, just go to a pawn yeah, right? shop or something, right? I, th- I think it was like a Saturday at like 3 o'clock or something. My, I lost my wallet, my friend. I lost my wallet. Please, I just need any cut. Pl- you know, he starts taking off his watch. I'm like, bro, he takes off his ring, puts his ring in my hand. It's all part of the routine. Kid. Yeah, so then the 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 passenger seat, this woman in the full hijab, starts saying the same thing. Like, please, we Muslim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Like, we, we just were stranded. We have no money. I'm like, yo, like, I look at the gold chain. It says 10K on it. But I'm like, this, he's like, my friend, please, this chain alone worth worth $2,000, please, like, just give me $100, $200, please. And I'm like, yo, bro, I definitely don't have $100, $200 that I'm giving you, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yo, after a few minutes, I'm like, I'm like, yo, my man, I'm sorry. You're like, like, I still can't standing there, you. like, yeah, why, am still, yeah, why am I still here? Yeah, and I'm like, I can't help you. So I walk back inside. I immediately Google, um, guy stranded on road. Uh, gives jewelry in exchange for gas money. Whoa, sure as whoa. shit, stories upon stories come up about how this is like the new hustle that people are doing. In mass or? or? Worldwide, okay. uh, like country, or nationwide, mm-hmm. uh, where they fucking tell you that they're, they're out of gas or they need money for whatever, right. whatever. They put this jewelry in your hand that's yeah. clearly fake. Or of not course, clearly, yeah. but it's definitely fake. Uh, and they get you to give them a couple hundred bucks, thinking that's that you're crazy. about to go get a couple thousand. Uh, and you get scammed. You almost got Couldn't got, believe it, bro. Man, yeah, crazy. I'm like, damn, bro, huh? That someone, was, someone probably got got that day. That was out here on Broadway. Well, I won't say your. Yeah, shit. right here on B way. Yeah, yeah. Damn, motherfucker. That's crazy. Right? I'm like, damn, bro. Can you hit that button over there? What? What button is shut that? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. Got him. Fuck up. Yo, the new Apple Air fucking pods max. Retail price. This son. is insane. I could not believe yeah, this, this shit when insane. I seen this shit. Five hundred dollars for these joints. Five hundred and sixty dollars. Is it five sixty? Yeah, five sixty. How crazy is that? Oh man, now, you know, I'm an Apple guy. I love yeah, everything they drop. I don't me necessarily too. cop everything they drop, mm-hmm. but I love but everything love they drop. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But man, these were like the, they're legit headphones. I yeah, feel like they're like I feel over like, the air. I feel like they're going backwards now. Yeah, yeah. They're over the air, wireless. They look like Beats. Almost. Yeah. They they look very similar. Still to going beats. backwards in my opinion. If you're rocking like studio type of headphones, like what I'm rocking right now, yeah. To so just be out and about. Yeah, like if anything, yeah, they should yeah. be getting smaller and less. Yeah, yeah. In your life, you know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Now supposedly, six. like they're like n- noise cancel. You could probably speak on this, Jules. Something about spatial audio or some shit. Audio spatial the awareness fuck is that? or something. It, it probably just has like sp- it, it, you can feel like you're in a space. Like shit's behind you. Yeah. You hear it behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Bose yeah. headphones are like that. I yeah. got wireless. Man. They're dope. And I, they say, I'd rather cop yeah. an Oculus. Um, now, binoculars? Oculus. Oculus. Oh, 
Oh, the Oculus. Yeah, you got to grab one of those. Watch some movies on there. They also say, like, the noise cancellation is crazy, bro. Like, it's you hit the noise cancellation, and literally, you just do not hear anything in the outside world. It's just yeah, like, it's a dope thing. But these are meant for everyday life. They're not meant for studio situations. I right? know. I so don't know I don't what know they're if, marketing towards. I don't like, know if noise cancellation is a good look if yeah. you're if we're like traffic, traffic, traffic or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably not. But j- when you hear it, because Bose does the same thing. What it does is it reverses the sound. So it just cancels everything outside. Yeah. yeah. Sure. The other thing Don't. I heard too that they have is like the opposite of that where you hit some sort of button. I don't know if it's spatial awareness or whatever it is. Oh. And you have the headphones on, right? Say you have the headphones on and you're hearing whatever that's playing, but you can still hear like you're oh, okay. having a conversation with me clear as day and I can hear you oh, that's perfectly. Dope. That's different yeah. than what I was thinking. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. They have like open back headphones. I actually have a pair of those at home that I mix with. Yeah. And basically you can hear around you so it sounds like... You're in the room still. Mm-hmm. That's but crazy. Yeah, that's dope. You could do either noise cancel but or five hundred and sixty dollars. That's really, a lot of money. I bet money. you it's worth and it. I'm not. I, I don't know who it. they're marketing towards, like, but yeah. that's, that doesn't seem like an everyday headphone to me. Mm, I don't think I so, like, man. Right? I don't want. I'm not walking down the street with a fucking over the air headphone. I'd rather get the regular ass palm spilling beer on your um floor. Uh, it's okay. I'd rather get um maybe the game and fo- the gaming folks. The gaming folks, maybe. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes yeah. the Apple shit don't even like like my AirPods don't. Uh, I can't pair them to my Bluetooth uh, to my Xbox. All, All right. right. Well, yeah. So Bluetooth audio doesn't pair to P- PS4 either. Yeah. So I wonder if they make that change in PS5. Yeah, I don't know. But they need to. That makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, that's. Shout out our guy Isaac Remsen, who's been on the hunt for a PS5 for like fucking three weeks, and he finally got it. Yeah, he's my, literally been driving state to state trying to get one. <laughs> my man Jose was on the hunt, but he had somebody hit him up. Yeah, with, with what's the, the big plug. features? You guys know anything about the rollout? I know a couple things about it. Uh, everything's gonna be in 4K, uh, and it goes all the way up to 8K. Okay. And do you Jesus know Christ, how? There's another K already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know how uh, when any other video games like? You turn it on. Let's say you turn on your system and then you hit whatever game and it loads, right? You remember you would have those load screens, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. No, load. no more load screens. No, like no literally, stack. bro, it's like this. That's how it should And be. you can literally yeah. jump between game to game like just seamlessly, bro. Like you I could like be that. playing the new Spider-Man, back out of it, immediately. put on a right. Grand Theft Auto, and it's just fucking immediate. There's no okay. loading screen. There's no nothing. That's pretty fucking dope. If yeah. I'm a gamer, which I'm not. Yeah, and yeah. then there's something called the happy haptic touch uh which means like uh, something to do with a controller like so when you pick up a gun it like feels like you're holding a gun when you're holding the controller uh, N- like weight wise almost like not that's not, the equivalent of like when the ps2 dropped and the shit fucking like shook in your hand yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 that that's, was a game changer yeah. bro. that was a game yeah. changer that's what it is right now for kids that was that age when we was that age. uh yo that makes that makes me think of uh this viral treat the tweet that was going around the other day that was age yourself with a store mm. right so i was thinking we could play this uh, game uh we're still good jules thank you for checking on that though um, yeah, I know. Now we got to make it a habit every once yeah, in a while to look yeah. at the camera and make sure it's still going. Or you know what'll happen if we don't. <laughs> fuck uh, I, I fucking quit. Uh, Snuck is one episode away. Yeah. <laughs> one bad episode away from I'm quitting. Fucking, I'm one bad episode away. Deuces, Xfinity. Stiz is so many peace, yo. He's like, Stiz don't even need, yo. Next no. episode is going to be him in an empty chair yeah, right for here. Real. <laughs> um... Fuck. What? Oh, yeah. So age I'm thinking we could with a, with a age store. yourself with a be store anything. or a drink. You know, like yeah. I think we should go around the room and do this. So you, I you said, did a Twitter one. I did. I said I went the drink route, uh, and I said okay soda. So I'm I'm not gonna front on you. I don't I don't recall this. Soda. You don't, right? What was this shit? It was just like a soda back in the day. It was called okay soda, and it had like a hotline that you would call one eight hundred okay soda. That was back that when shit. pay phones around, and you could fucking uh, you could call one eight hundred numbers. Yeah. With yeah, a payphone yeah. from a payphone. You remember that and one, I Juice? Used to think I was the okay, show. soda. I don't okay, remember soda. That. Hold on. Remember Fruitopia? Fruitopia. That was yes. in high Wait school. Wait a minute. Well, school, Why school. do I know? I don't that? know if he's if he does. Yeah, no, like I can picture it, but remember, like, like there was different colors and shit. It wasn't soda though. Is it, ju- is it juice? Right? It was kind of like a juice. I think I remember Fruitopia. I'm gonna have to. What the fuck happened? To, what fuck happened to Fruitopia? Yeah. I don't uh, know. All right. Yo, this this was okay soda. Do you remember Jolt? Yeah, I was just I thinking do remember Jolt. Jolt. That was yeah, in my head because I, I drank that Jolt. shit to get lit when I was a kid. I've never seen that shit yeah. in my life. I would have to go. Something coming uh, to my mind is Crystal Clear Pepsi. Yeah, you always say that Crystal Clear I don't Pepsi remember shit. that shit. Yeah. I know it was a thing, but like. It was terrible. I didn't like it, but it just sticks with me. Yeah. Fruit-topia it was like a whole era. 
Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. I do remember, remember Fruitopia. Yeah. That's right. I do remember these joints. I think they that's sold them around. shits in yeah. the machines when I was in no, school. No, I, I haven't think. seen one I think of these still around. fucking I don't forever, think so. Forever, bro. Forever. What about like a liquor? Uh, 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 what was the fucking beer with the bull? Red Bull? No, but it wasn't no, Red it wasn't Red, Red Dog. Red, Red Dog. Dog. Red Dog. I forgot Red about that. Dog. I remember that shit. Yes, Red that Dog. That shit was dope. To age myself with that shit, I would say, I don't know. I think these things are still around, so I don't know if that technically ages yourself. Is MD2020 still around? Red Dog, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, yeah, those yeah. fruity drinks you start on because yeah. you're little and you don't yeah. know, know better. Yeah. Uh, the the St. Eye Special Brews is really Saint Ides, yeah. the yeah. special brews. Yeah. What, what was that drink that began with a C? It's like a, almost like a wine. I want to say it was like Chris something. Guys, Cisco? Cisco. Remember Cisco? Yeah, yeah, Cisco. Cisco. Oh, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, yeah. hung over. It was Cisco. terrible. Yeah, that's right. I don't think I used to fuck with that All right, shit. and let's do a store real quick. I'll do uh, I'll do strawberries. Oh, that was my shit, was man. The strawberries. I used to drive a stolen fucking bike all the way to strawberries, like yeah. two miles to get fucking cassette yeah. singles. Yeah. Drive all the way back, man. Strawberries, yeah. that was lit. You could do another record store. Any of those record stores, of. really. Sam Goody. Yeah, any of those. Strawberries Sam would be my Goody. one. Strawberries was my favorite one. Yeah. yeah, they had the multiple layers in there. You'd go up on each floor. Oh, that yeah. was the one at Downtown Cross. Yeah, with the elevator and yeah. shit. That was yeah, that was for my Helltown people. Most of them were pretty big. Record Village yeah, for my Helltown right? people. What was that? Uh, that it was, it uh, was just our CD spot uh, and, and where I live. You know you're getting filmed doing that with the cord, right? Oh, yeah, my bad. Newberry what was, Street. uh, <laughs> what? They had one on Newberry Street, too, with strawberries? Yeah, didn't they have strawberries on the corner of Newberry and Mass Ave? No, I mean, at the way top. They had, they had um, Tower? Tower uh, Records. Tower Records, okay. yeah, yeah. That was yeah. Tower yeah. Records. Yeah, yeah, yeah That yeah. was dope. That had floors, right? right. Yeah. It was like a few yeah, different yeah, floors. Yeah, had floors. Yeah, if I remember. Yeah. What about Caldor? Caldor. Shout Caldor's out to guy, K.A. Leachman's. Leachman's. Yeah. Leachman. That's right. Fucking, uh... JC Penny's still around. There's still a couple of JC Yeah, they're in malls all day. basement. Filene's basement. Yeah, yeah, that was a thing. I think Not still, too long ago, though. Yeah, yeah, not too long ago. Osco. Remember Osco? Kind of. Osco Drugs. It was Osco like Drugs. Osco Drugs. 24. Yeah, Store 24. Yeah, Store 24. Man, around. I miss Store 24. We have one in Lafayette Square in Havel. That shit is yeah, something else now. Yeah, too. A couple, too. It's crazy. Like side, all, the, side. all the little peaches and things I grew up with, they're like called different things now yeah, and shit. Yeah, like Tedeschi or something. That is weird. Yeah, yeah all of them are Tedeschi. Yeah. Age yourself with a, with a porn star. This. Age yourself with a porn star. That's off the top. I don't know. I got mm. one. Pam Anderson. Oh, yeah, yeah that's Anderson. a good one. Not a that's porn a star, one. but yeah. probably one of the first Carmen fucking Electra. sex tapes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That was lit. Uh, Tommy Lee smashing her on the boat. On the boat with his big hog. You know who else got a big hog? It's Tiger. Uh, <laughs> yo, Stiz got to work in. Stiz got to work in. Tiger got a big hog in every episode. We got to record that one time. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Every time That's the shit gets fucking gross. Every That's time shit gets hilarious. awkward, you can just press that one. Uh, you know who else got a big hog? And then the goat turned 51 this week. We Happy were... birthday, Hove, bro. Wait a minute. Let's, let's fucking do that proper. Happy birthday to Hove. Go, go turn 51. Imagine being 51 and, and better in your profession than yeah. everybody who's in their 20s and 30s yeah, and 40s. Fact. That's just bro, crazy. Fact. Craziness. Yeah, shout out, shout out to God. He's God and CJ Hova. Yep, yep, absolutely. Smart man. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, let's where are we see. at, oh, Jules? I want to shout out. Yeah, where are we at for time? We got to be almost at an hour. Oh, yeah, There's a couple sure. things I want to just... Uh, no, not hit. I was just curious. Yeah, no, uh, and you can uh, make sure you play us out to like some Keisha or some Ashanti or something. Oh, I got you. Um, yo, I do want a couple things. Shout out our guy, Mr. Peter Parker, uh, who was laid yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Go95, the station that he worked at in uh, Minnesota, was sold to a Christian radio station. Crazy. Just like AAF was. Crazy. Craziness. Fucking sucks. That was the big shit out there too. Yeah, man. Like Peter yeah, ran that shit. Yeah, he really did. I got a feeling Mr. Peter Parker is gonna do just fine. Yeah, I hope so. Trust uh, the radio industry can be a fucking especially so, now. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Is God especially making a comeback? Or I don't know. I clearly, the clearly, the collection yeah, plates have been I adding know, up lately. I know. I know. <laughs> that is good. Collection They're trying plates. Trying to hit the media outlets. They're gonna come up with a Facebook. I That's know. right. God it book. It's wild, bro. Um, did anyone see this? Rudy Giuliani was at a hearing the other day. As if it couldn't get worse for Rudy Giuliani. He gets caught. He uh, needs to you stay know, home at this point. Allegedly, it's... fucking touching. You know, touching that girl in the Borat movie. 
He uh, then it's all has downhill his, from there. Yeah, then he has the fucking uh, the the the, the shit, weird hair thing. The, the hair dye dripping from his. He 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 does a press conference. It was supposed the to be fight, at the four seasons. He's been seasons. fighting all over these. That's press what I was gonna play. So he's at the hearing, uh, and this is what happened. The Lock. answer. Point of order. The answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness. Just like you. <laughs> yo, when Shorty that looks at him, though. Hey. Yo, but when Shorty you looks at him. Yeah, I know, but. Shorty looks dead at him. I'm going to play it one more time. Hold on. The you answer. Point of order. The answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness. Just like you. They don't want to know the truth. <laughs> yeah, nah, I don't know. Hold on. That more, could more be shit. fake. There's more shit. You didn't see the, um, on IG him fucking rubbing his foot. First of all, he has corona, don't he? Yeah, he has. Yeah, right, yeah, so yeah, yeah. He blows days. his nose. He's fucking blowing his nose. No, he's wiping sweat off his head. He's blowing his nose, all this shit. And then wipes it and again. And then he fucking taps the fucking thing and then like yeah. touches his girl's yeah, arm. This yeah, shit is yeah, yeah, nasty. My man is too old to be leaving he's the house too right old. now. Yo. Yeah, he's old as fuck. Yeah, that's his girl? Yeah. 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 No, it like, was a girl that's... Girl with him. Who knows yeah, yeah. who the fuck it is, but like... A girl that Gross was ass old people. Stay the fuck home, man. He's old. He shouldn't be doing any anything that he's doing. Yo, shout out our guys. Salute uh, CT and Leroy. New challenge debuting, I believe, tonight, actually. Oh, is it tonight? Agents. For real? I think it's Wednesday. Oh, I right. could be wrong. Me and wifey got fucking... We seen that shit on DVR the other night. Got fired up. And they, they always get us with that first one because it's some bullshit. Like, eight-minute fucking like, trailer type of thing. Oh, you know? really? They'll, they'll do that shit. And if you have your DVR set to something like that, they'll record everything. So we're like, yo, we got the first challenge. Let's go. How the fuck did they do a challenge? This might not be the COVID one. Maybe the next nah, one is the COVID no, one. No, I think it is a COVID one. Because they, they and, uh, film like a lot yeah, ahead of time. Yeah, they film a lot. And, you know, we don't want to do, uh, you know, we don't want to give any way any secret information. Nah, but you know, we always want to CT just, on Stuck on Let's just stuff. say I have a good feeling about CT this time. Uh-oh. Around. Let's just say that. So I don't think we're even allowed to say that. Shout like, out our guy CT. <laughs> yeah, things that not. he signs me. Uh, shout out our guy CT. I'm not saying that he wins. I'm nah, just nah, saying nah, nah, nah. I just have a good feeling I'm assuming he does well. It's fucking yeah. CT. He's the Tom Brady of the show. No, no, no. Bananas is the Tom Brady. If you have money, I'd probably put it on CT. Hip Hop has listening to this shit like, what the fuck? Yeah, they talking I about? know, right? Um, and wh- what's this? Pusha T new album produced by Kanye West and the Neptunes. I just saw that news earlier today. Sounds like I mean, but we got the Pusha T Kanye thing. Like we got the uh, Pusha Kanye thing, but he's going back to like the original the original shit. So Neptunes. he's doing Neptunes and like Kanye. I don't know if it's like split between the two or if th- they are working together. I got to assume they're not working mm. together all in the studio. Mm-hmm. So you know, um, I like that though. And I seen a funny tweet earlier that was like. Uh, well, I think Elliot Wilson posted it when he's like, do we really want to hear an, a, another album of Pusha T rapping about cocaine in 2020? And it was like, yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah, fucking Let's you, fucking yeah. go, baby. Any, yeah, I'm I'll with it. Push T rapping. I'm with it. Yuck. Yuck. Um, all right, man. It was good. Anybody got any pressing issues they want to talk Play about? Play me out to something wild. This kid I, I got something. something. Yeah, what do you got, Jules? So you Did guys you know Bust that Alex Trebek died? <laughs> do you know Bust the Bus dropped drop some music, right? Yeah, he dropped this fucking around. album that some people are saying is like one of the best albums of his career. But like last where, month called. Where do you where do we all stand with Busta? Because yeah, last month called. Go, but go. no, I'm just thinking now after that, people talking to like, do we put Busta with one of the greats? Because I feel like he's absolutely he is one of the and greats. And he doesn't get recognized. He'll, as it. No, I think he does. He'll never be in people's top fives or Why, tens though? because Hit of. Me. Because His of like the, the animation and the yeah. crazy, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Why? people are just scared. I was about to he's say lyrics, with some of the best fuck, in the game too. Spit, Skill wise, he's 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 up there. Yeah, he can hold the he can hold it yeah. with the best of them. Yeah, that's and if you, you do a check, if you, if you do boxes with with checklists and shit, and you put the different categories, off. he pretty much Absolutely. checks them all. You he know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I've been thinking that for a few years. No, a lot of people. I I do know one or two people in my lifetime that I met. You know, a few people in my life that yeah, Busta, Busta, Busta Rhymes oh, okay. is is their favorite MC yeah, ever. Yeah. Like, I know that. You know what it might be? Just kind of hit me. Lack of uh, mega hits. Lack of, like, fucking mega smash. I don't know. No, he's got, he's like, got the, those Janet Jackson records. Yeah, he's got yeah, hit give it records. Give it to me. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got those. Yeah. It's, yeah, he definitely I don't know. Hits. I don't How does he get overlooked? Underrated. But I just sure. think, I Easily just think is. he's not... Um, He's not like as mainstream. Trust me, he's mainstream, but like super mainstream. Not a mainstream to, to like, like where fucking Aunt Janet in fucking Ohio, who's fifty, for whatever she's gonna reason. know who J. So this is, is an she's example. Know who She'll Eminem know his is. joints, but won't know his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if she heard on the radio, 
that Janet record or yeah, like yeah, some yeah. other Busta joints that are big, big time. She would be like, I heard this shit before, but she might not know Busta Rhymes name. Yeah. Yeah, but like, the people judging all these like top 10 shit are all hip hop heads. That's true. That's a good you know point. I mean? If we're just talking hip hop heads. Janet. If you're just talking hip hop heads from a certain era, I think a lot of them do got them in the top ten 20. to twenty. Yeah, yeah. Mm. top twenty for sure. Yeah, it's, just been it's tough because energy. you know the top five to ten is just already loaded up. Everybody's for the most part right there with each other. It's just the order. You know what I, I mean? Just mean greatest in general. You know? Oh, come on, he's top. Definitely. He's up there without a number. It's twenty he's greatest. One of the greatest, greatest of all he time. Easily, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, I just want to. Now, when I'm twisted and I hear this shit during the battle, it's over. It's over. Yes, it's, I'm, it's I'm a in a colorful time. video on a, fer- yeah, a Ferris wheel. I'm fucking yes. Shout out, uh, home team or no team, Joiner getting a shanti in uh, his latest video. Yeah, you got a kiss or two. Shout out, Joiner. Yeah. Um, all right, man, it was great seeing you guys. Glad we squashed all the beef. Eh, We're we'll back at it. <laughs> Packing the Mac in the back of the act. <laughs> we'll see what happens to this app if the yeah. video's still going. And the Yo, audio make good. sure to go to YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell to get the notifications. Uh, the Facebook, the Instagram, the fucking Twitter, all that good shit. Uh, we appreciate all the support. Uh, Engineer Jules, thank you for coming through today. We know you're a busy man, and we appreciate all the help that you give us. And that's that. I am Stiz Grimy on everything. Superstar snuck on everything. Daddy wasn't there. Peace. Bring heat to cold this night. So ferocious. Now you street promoting the dick game is potent. Cause in the bed, nigga go hard like Jordan. Sweat pouring, loving the way you be moaning. Gripping the sheet, looking at me, licking at me. Cause every woman just wanna be happy. And it's crazy, but baby, I.